It's June. Way up in the Siberian tundra, a tiny little redneck stint has made a scrape in the ground and lined it with leaves and grass. And she's laid four eggs. Now, together with her mate, she will take very good care of those eggs until after ooh, 20, 22 days, they hatch. Now, I'm going to call one of those chicks Tom. Now, the moment Tom and his brothers and sisters have hatched, their mother takes off, her work is done, but she knows she is leaving her chicks in the very, very capable hands of their dad, who feeds them lots and lots of fantastic things. And, and Tom, well, you know, he eats and he eats and he eats and he eats until he is round and fat as a ball. His father comes to him and he says, come on, everybody, come on, Tom, it's time for us to Take to the flyway. It's time to make the great journey south, all the way to Australia. They fly through the days. They fly through the nights. again he is round and fat as a ball. Polly key worms. Oh an arthropod. Oh sorry that's yours. That's okay you can have a look. <laughs> Why hello. Tom feels a shadow pass over him. Huh? Um hello. Who are you? I am the grey heron. I am the largest bird in Yatsuhigata, and I spend rather a lot of my time here. And you, my friend, I don't wish to be rude, but you are, well, you are rather small. Come on, everybody. It's time we got back to the flyway and continued the journey south. Oh, no. We want to stay here. I really, really like Yatsuhigata. Tom. Yatsuhigata might be pleasant enough in summer, but in winter, let me tell you, it gets very, very <laughs> C-O-L-D, cold. <laughs> and once again, the stints take to the sky. They fly over a vast ocean. They visit islands.
likes it. <laughs> and in September, he arrives at Sandy Point in Newport at the end of my street. And all through spring and summer, well, Sarah and I, we see him. He's very, very shy of people, so it's good if you've got a pair of binoculars. But come March, hmm, the days begin to grow short. And the mornings, oh, they're very oh, C-O-L-D, cold. <laughs> And once again, the redneck stints take to the sky. And this time, they fly north. Tom may only weigh as much as a piece of toast. But in his lifetime, he will fly the distance to the moon and back again. <laughs> 